Hey guys, William Justice here. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve and Fusion. A while back I made a bullet list plugin that was animated, and I mentioned that I could animate it using Mr. Alex Tech's Magic Animate. Um, this video we're going to talk about that, we're going to get into a little bit of Fusion, and I'm going to show you how to use his really cool um, animation plugin to animate the bullet list. It's going to show a little bit about how Fusion works, and give you an idea of how you might be able to use this in some of your own animations. If you like this video and are interested in Fusion, learning a little bit more about Resolve and some different things you can do with it, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots more videos coming and we should do some really fun stuff. To download the bullet list plugin, go to my website, buildjustice.com and click download effects and find the just bullet list and you can click the download DRFX to install the plugin. You can find a link to my website and the plugin in the description of this video. To download the Magic Animate plugin from Mr. Alex Tech, um, click the link in the description of this video and it'll take you to the download page. Okay, let's get started. We're going to take this bullet list right here and animate it with Mr. Alex Tech's Magic Animate. We're going to dive right into Fusion and show you how to hook it all up. We just got to connect a few nodes and it'll be all ready to go. So let's take a look at the bullet list plugin and how it works and then we're going to hook it up with the Magic Animate. So the first thing you want to do is uh, just have, we have a new Resolve project here um, with a blank timeline. So we can take a graphic, it can be an image, video, whatever you want and drag it into the timeline. And this is gonna be our bullets. We just got this kind of orange ball looking thing here. And you stretch it out however long you want the bullet list to be. And then we go to effects. And in the toolbox area, choose effects. And then it, the bullet list is in the William Justice folder. And also give you a download link in the description of this video. So to turn this into a bullet list, all you need to do is take the bullet list effect and drag it right onto that image. And there we go, we got a bullet list and it supports up to eight lines of text. Um, just real quickly, I'll go over this so you can move it around just like anything else. So real quickly, I'll go over this. Um, what you do is you go to the inspector and click effects. And here you can choose your font. We can change the color of the bullets. Um, we can adjust the size, spacing, all kinds of stuff here, and as well as the lines. You can type in whatever lines you want. This allows you to move the list around, adjust some settings. We can adjust timing. And there's the animation section where you can adjust and animate the text and bullets. And we're gonna use the Magic Animate to do the animation on this. So instead of having to set keyframes here, we're gonna use the plugin from Mr. Alex Tech. Um, you can also do the bullets to animate the size and position to have things kind of moving around. Okay, so this is the basic, um, that's the basic bullet list. To customize this, you wanna to go to the inspector, click effects, and then choose the fusion icon. So we're gonna get into fusion just a little bit here. Um, if you don't know Fusion, this might be a little complicated, but uh, if you follow along, you might, you might pick up a few things. So we're going to click this icon to get into Fusion, and there we have our bullet list, and this is the Fusion nodes down here. And you'll notice that there's just bullet list, and I've set this up as a group so that you can open it and it's really easy to edit. So to open up the just bullet list group, you double click on it, and this is what the bullet list animation looks like. Basically, there's, um, just to go over this, there's um, here are the eight text nodes, and we have some merge nodes. And the other, these other nodes are for timing, things like that. You're not gonna have to even get into any of that area. We're gonna make this super simple. So we're gonna take these text nodes and we're gonna highlight them all and just move them, I'll space them out a little bit. You don't really need to do this, it's just to make it maybe a little bit easier to see. Okay, so let's add the magic animate onto the text. I'm gonna go to, go to the effects area, click templates, then choose edit, effects, and Mr. Alex Tech. And you'll see that there is a magic animate folder. We're gonna click on that. And we can take the magic animate version two and put it, drag it right into our animation there. Okay, so we need to take this and we're gonna put it in line with this first text node. Let me make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see what's going on here. So we're gonna take Magic Animate, we're gonna hold down the Shift key and drag it right on top of this line here and that's gonna connect it and put the Magic Animate, and put Magic Animate in between the text and the rest of the animation. So when you get into Magic Animate, let's uh, drop down the inspector here. We have this node selected. We're, so. I'm not going to go through all these, these tools, we're just going to use a few of them. We're going to try this, uh, this whip control, and we're going to choose whip in. And what that's going to do is it's going to take the text and move it in. So we'll see when we start out, you see the text slide in right there. So it just slides right in. And also by default, um, let's click on, um, we're going to click on this group here, the outer group, and you'll see that just bullet list has, um, some, uh, has some animation on the opacity for both the bullets and the text. And you can take this off. Um, we'll go ahead and take it off because it makes things a little bit easier to see. So I double clicked opacity to remove it. We're gonna go to bullets, I'm gonna double click that and remove that. So basically the bullets and text are always gonna be there. Just They're just gonna come in over time. Um, so let's go back to the first frame and we'll see 
text animation. Yeah, we got to put this uh, opacity at one there, bullet opacity at one. And now we can see the text is going to slide in. And we just hooked up Magic M8 to the first one, so the text slides in there. So to get the rest of the text to slide, all we need to do is we're going to copy instances of the Magic Animate. So we hold it down. Um, let's select it, hit Control C. Select the next text, which is text two, and we're going to hit Control Shift and V. And that's going to paste an instance. I'm going to go text three, Control Shift V. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this for all of the text nodes, just going down, uh, just going down here. So now let's go back to our, take a look at our animation here. And each of these nodes is going to come in and you see we have some animation on the text there. So that looks pretty good. And you can use any of the um, animations. Say we wanted it to come in, say we want it to come in from the other direction. We'll go to magic animate and we'll change the angle in to 180. And that's going to have it come in from the right side as opposed to the left. And maybe we want to, we want to add um, some a spin angle. We'll see what that does. So you, you can use any of these options. So let's put a, a zoom on the bullet. The bullet. What we need to do is this this um, this input right here. This is the bullet coming in. This is a transformation on the bullet and some other options. So what we're going to do is we're going to take Magic Animate and put it right between this transform and this bullet. So we're going to take the Magic Animate, drag it in, hold down the Shift key, and put it right on that line. And let's go into the inspector. We're going to click zoom and we're going to have it zoom in. Just like that. So let's, uh, let's take a little review of what we have here. We just took magic animate and put it in between each of these text nodes and this merge node. And we just copied an instance of it to each of the eight nodes right here. And then we put another magic animate right here for the bullets so we can animate the text and bullets separately. So let's take a look at what the animation looks like. And a quick note here, this can be a little bit slow to render sometimes, so what you, you can right click on the bullet image and hit render in place, and that'll render it out so that everything um, runs real smoothly when you're editing your videos. One thing to note is if you want to change the bullet list, you can go to the effects, um, we can change some of the text, um, some of the position, size, that sort of thing. But if you do want to change the animation and speed it up, slow it down, or change a different style, you're going to need to go into Fusion. But it's pretty simple. All you got to do is make sure that the uh, bullet image is selected, click the Inspector Effects, and click the Fusion icon, and just go find the Magic Animate. You click it. You go find one of the Magic Animate instances. You click it, and then you can, in the Inspector, you can open up that and do any of the options that are built into the Magic Animate. So this one right here is going to animate the text, and this one right here is going to animate the bullet. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. I got more videos coming soon. Um, if you want to learn more about DaVinci Resolve and Fusion, make sure you like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, um, leave them in the feedback down below. I would really love to hear from you. Talk to you soon.